What is up, YouTubers? Um, if you haven't seen my other video, you got to check it out now because guess what? I just had the longest night of my life. Um, <clears throat> what started out is me just going to Walmart to go pick up some Boulevard cars. Turned into, um, guess what? Dump in heaven. Uh, I actually walk was was looking at cars right when they wheeled the first dump in that I got into um, tonight and I gotta say I was kinda pissed because uh, all the boxes were double taped and basically somebody had gone in taken all the treasures and all the supers and left everything else I mean you know I found a Batmobile uh, which was cool but I went through six cases and not one single treasure hunt and not one single super treasure hunt. So that Walmart was definitely, definitely, definitely uh, shady because I saw the forklift bring the pallet over. So this all happened behind uh, warehouse doors. So that wasn't cool. But I went to a different Walmart and guess what I found? Ta-da! This is the domestic release. Um, the domestic release F case. If you saw my video, you saw the international release. So this is actually going to be a little bit different. You're going to have a little bit more cars on it. Um, or maybe not. I, I, I don't know exactly. Well, I kind of do. But anyways, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. And uh, let's, let's start showing you what we got, huh? Um... Again, if you haven't seen my other video, I just posted a video of me at the Walmart uh, with uh, a brand new, never been touched by any foreign hands outside of Mattel employees, um, dumping. And I was able to unload eight cases uh, into this dump in so this is one of the cases that I actually bought for this unboxing video it's brand new sealed never been touched or looked at so let's go ahead and see what we got first off the bat we have the tarmac attacks in blue um, and the 70 Chevelle SS wagon in yellow with the moon eyes you've seen these in the international pack the difference is, is that the international pack has some kind of red warning label in Spanish. This does not. And if you could see right there, it's part of the F case. Um, we have some more repeats. This is going to be a pretty fast video. The uh, Ducati is very, very nice. Um, oh boy, let's see what else we got here. Some people express some interest in this car. This is the Maximum Leeway. Um, not really a fan because it's a plastic car, but oh well. And guess what I got three of, finally. The Cadillac Fleetwood. This was only, I think I only received one in my international pack. So three of them in the domestic pack is pretty awesome. Um, and then we have a, let's see, the Buick Riviera and the Aston Martin DBS. Um, another backslider. Uh, let's see what else we got. Berlinetta and another Maximum Leeway. Um, the Enzo in yellow with the Chevelle, 69 Chevelle. X-ray racer that glows in the dark. Um, something interesting, they put in a mystery machine in the uh, domestic F case. So that was pretty cool. Uh, you've seen this Escalade. Just so you know, the mystery machine did not come in the international pack. So domestic cases, look out for the mystery machine. Um, <clears throat> I think I got three Falcons in my international case. Domestic case only gave you one Falcon. Cuda. There's the orange Gallardo and the Golf GTI in blue. Um, let's see. 
So far, no treasure hunt. Uh, let's see, we got the semi psycho, ugh. um, nerve hammer, and 24 hours. Uh, again, these are all cars I believe you recall seeing already. Olds 442 W30 and the event door in black, flat black, as you guys know. This one is my favorite casting. Ah! So, just uh, right off the bat, I kind of noticed this, and this is pretty cool. Um, there's a wheel there. As you can see, that wheel is black with a chrome lip. And that one is chrome. Black, chrome, black, chrome. It should be chrome, chrome. So, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else did we get? We got the GSX with the uh, Milo Dawn Tempos, the M3, and a Renin Rig. Renin, Renin Rig. Uh, we got the um, Fef Ford F-150 without the red back this time. So, I guess the one with the red cover is the rare one now. Another Buick uh, Riviera and a Diesel Boy uh, in yellow. So there we go. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and. Uh, so far, still no treasure hunt, but I think. I think my luck is about to change. Um, okay, another weird thing that they did for the F case domestic. First of all, Fred Flintstone mobile, the Flint mobile. They also packed Batman, Batman, the Batman live Batmobile. So this pack actually has three series in it. It has the Flintstones, Batman, and Scooby Doo. So that's pretty interesting. Um, we got the new model Shelby GT500. I don't believe this was in the uh, domestic, I mean, international release. So this is a new casting, new for 2013, um, and it is a clean, nice, I mean, beautiful casting. I love this car. I grabbed a bunch of them. So uh, we have the silver or uh, custom '69 Chevy pickup in red. You've already seen that. Um, we have the 64 Continental Convertible. Um, as you may know, in my international case, I was really sick and congested and I didn't even know or notice. But this is a treasure hunt. I like to call them secret treasure hunts. Um, they no longer have that weird, that weird uh, saying on the back of the card, I don't think. Yeah, that's not that's no longer on the card where it says this is a very valuable or rare collectible or whatever. So here's that swamp buggy that I actually really like because it's got these very cool tampos on it. Um, let's see what else do we got here? Oh, check it out, another Flintmobile. So Vendetta and in the oval course. We have another very cool SWAT combat medic. Um, there was only one of these in the domestic release. I don't know how many I got. I, I don't remember how many I got in the international, but only one in domestic. Um, the M3 in a black metallic uh, paint. Be on the lookout for my quickie car review of this for sure. Um, we have the Ferdox. You've already seen that. Um, we have the Scooby, or the Scooby, Scooby, as uh, Justin in England calls them. We call them, I think, Subies here. Uh, but this one has yellow rims. Justin Clark, um, who is one of my uh, buddies over in the UK, he actually has this with gold rims instead of these painted yellow rims. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love this casting, one of my favorites. And I'm glad to see it back in a beautiful metallic blue. Next, we have the Scorpedo. Um, if you remember, my international case had the Scorpedo, but it was like mounted or packaged 
wonky, so it wasn't sitting correctly. This one is packaged right. Um, here is also the 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. This is the lime green color. Okay, if you remember, the blue color is an actual sale for sale release. The lime green is actually also a real car. Um, it was more like antifreeze colored. Uh, it looked exactly like this and it was used at the SEMA Auto Show. Um, look it up online, SEMA 2012, and look up uh, Chevy Camaro and you'll see it was beautiful. This is an awesome re uh, reproduction. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We got the Chevrolet SS again, the door slammer, and the the car. Um, Ferrari F58 Spider and the Fast Gassin. Uh huh. Not really a big fan of the Fast Gassin, but it's it's one of the cars. We have a Hemi Cuda, Shelby Super Snake, and the Sco Scupa de Fuego. Coming up to the last uh, six. Now, the domestic case actually comes with three Nova station wagons. This is a hot, hot casting. I love this car. Um, be very happy that you're going to see a lot of those on the pegs. And then last but not least, the recolor variant of the Countryman Rally, the 16 Concept, and the Custom 62 Chevy truck, which Mr. Dizave380 has asked me to send him a couple of. So, I have a, a few of these, my friend, for you. You, you. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please, as you can see, leave me a thumbs up. Questions down below, question and comments down below, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. Wait, there's one thing I forgot to to show you. You saw this, right? The Buick Riviera. But did you notice that one of them in this case was this Buick Riviera? Um. Yes, it is so beautiful. It is so nice. Look at those beautiful tampos. Um, comparatively speaking, it's one car, the regular released, no, um, oh look, there's a tampo arrow right there. Uh, the one that's not the super has a metallic purple paint job. The one that is a super has a smooth, spectra flamish kind of creamy purple. I don't know if you could tell the difference. Let's see if we can get that. See that metallic sh speckles? You see how smooth that is? And obviously it has the extra tampas on top of the car. So, yes, I was able to find this. Six cases at the first Walmart? No. Uh, eight cases at the second Walmart? No. Uh, eight more cases at the last Walmart? Yes. In this case. Um, I don't know if Mattel is actually scaling back on their supers or whatnot, but this was not as abundant as other supers have been in uh, dumpins. If I'm, if I remember correctly, there's usually about one per three cases. This was seriously, I, I kid you not. Remove. Let's let's not count the six cases that I uh, went through uh, at the the Walmart where they actually, you know, did that shady stuff where they took them out before you even saw the the dump in. Let's say the. Let's just go with the two dump ins that I did actually get to. Uh, go through um, and open every case uh, that was 16 cases out of 16 cases once again out of 16 cases um, I received I got two 
super treasure hunts. One was really damaged, um, and I don't even know where that is. It's packed away in one of my boxes. And this one that I just opened for you guys. Um, 16 cases. That's one per eight case. So, here it is. Hope you like what you see. Uh, once again, I, I also want to give a special shout out to my T Hunted viewers. T Hunted.blogspot.com. Uh, uh, Douglas, you're the man. I love you guys. You guys are great. Thank you guys for your support and thanks for watching. I hope you really like this video. I hope you like what you saw. Again, thank you and goodbye.